A long time ago, there was a big pile of treasure in the desert, and the Volt Hunters found it and killed all the bad guys. The end. No, 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 that's not how you start a story. I thought it was pretty good. And I think you're not getting fed this week. Now, this is how you start a story. Legends speak of Captain Blade's lost treasure of the sands, of a prize so great that men would turn their sands red in pursuit of it, of a pirate queen, courageous and deadly, who would stop at nothing to find it, of a monstrous leviathan, of the Vault Hunters who journeyed to the desert town of Oasis, not knowing the horrors that would befall them. See? That's how you do it. Mine was more succinct. Your life's gonna be succinct, you dirty little orphan. Welcome to my lovely town of Oasis, stranger. Now, if, if you could please save me from the filthy sand pirates trying to steal my water! decision. same as I am. So, we've got two options. We can work together and split the treasure, or we could just try to kill one another. Or maybe both! Come find me in Wormwater, yeah? I am Shade, and you... You are the coolest person I have ever seen. Please don't go. Please. People of Oasis, thank you. If you're looking for the treasure of the sands, you want to talk to Captain Scarlet. She's set up in Wormwater. You'll need a sand skiff to reach her. Use mine. It's the least I can do for the stranger who saved the many living people of my town. Oh, you're so cool. Many jobs for you. Have you met my friend Frank? He is a very gruff man and an alcoholic. Yes, it is a tragedy. He becomes very irate if he has not given the finest whiskey. Could you please procure some from the merchant caravans nearby? Oh no! Did my 
Rice and Skiff just randomly explode, forcing you to stay in Oasis and hang out with me some more? Darn. Well, my other friends out in the flats might have some Sand Skiff parts for you. They are very nice and alive. Go talk to them. But be careful. If you step on the flat sands out there, the sand grubs will hear you and eat you, and then you won't be able to hang out with me. Skiff parts and you'll be on your way to Captain Scarlet and the Lost Treasure. How fun that you'll be leaving me alone. Hi there, Jen. I'm Jennifer. Clothes and boys in high school and gossip. <laughs> That's Jennifer. A nice girl, but very naive. I think she has a magnetic overthruster you could use for the sand skiff. several weeks ago as a gift. Take it! Could I please be getting surprised with that shake? You are so attractive.
Why, hello, person. I'm feeling very good today and not that from thirst. How are you? Ah, uh, you've met Lionel. How are you, Lionel? Not dead of thirst. Ha ha ha! Oh, tell me about it. How is your family? Well, they. End of that is a great story, Lionel. Friend, I believe he has an engine capacitor stashed somewhere nearby. It's yours! <laughs> Please, attach those parts you retrieved to the sand skiff. Then you may scan it and summon one from any catch-a-ride machine. ride system if you want there you may now destruct a sand skiff from any catch or ride machine before you go off to meet captain scarlet though you must return to me I had no reason to call you back. I just enjoyed your presence. Captain Scarlet has been tracking the treasure of the sands for several years. <gasps> you should sail out to meet her in your sand skiff. Oasis needs your help, my friend. You have met Jocko, yes? He is a simple man with very big dreams. He, he wishes to be a sand pirate, you see. I'm sure he would love it if you could give him some piratey prosthetics. Uh, teeth, peg legs, things of this sort. My great grandma used to be a sand pirate around these parts, but I don't want anybody to know that. Her old ship is just outside of Oasis. I need you to scuttle it and erase any evidence of the creepy stuff my grand -gram used to do. Go get the explosives I stashed for you. for agreeing to destroy Graham Graham's old ship. I don't want to tell you the kind of stuff she was guilty of, but let's just say it rhymes with child schmafficking with some schmanibalism on the side.
Now nobody can find out I was ever related to that child schmafficking bitch. Get back to the bounty board whenever you're done here. I mean, I don't really care, but whatever. friends with Captain Blade, the guy who buried the treasure. He left his pet stalker to my grandma when he died, and she took care of it and stuff. But then she died and left it to me, and I'm like, I don't want to take care of a friggin' stalker. They're gross. So go kill it for me. It's an oasis somewhere. Shut up! Hey, you've done a stupid thing. Yay. I love my Be powers. careful. My grandma used to feed orphans to it. So if your parents are dead, like, be careful or whatever, you might be able to smell your orphan musk. Ah! Hold it right there! That's that! You killed Captain Blade's stupid stalker! Yay! Go back to the bounty board and I'll pay you.
you have found one of Captain Blade's bottles. Inside the bottle, you will find a key. The key opens a chest. The chest has loot. The loot will help you kill things. Find the chest, my friend. another fake execution today. One of the cooks was caught stealing from the treasure hole, so I had to pretend to kill him to keep the rest of the crew in line. Gave him enough cash to disappear, shot him overboard with a blank. <sighs> Keeping up this face some Captain Blade retains a hell of a lot of work. You got the whiskey. Frank was beginning to get violent. Please return the drinks to him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
so you may fulfill your lifelong fantasy of being a sand pirate, which was cut short thanks to a tragic childhood injury. Why did the skag cross the road? Because there was water on the other side of the road. <laughs> he laughs to keep from crying. It is so very, very sad. Stop! I love my power. Just slip the ring onto her finger and see what she says. Oh, shade, marriage. This is moving so fast. And you know, I don't believe in marriage. I'm sorry, shade, but the answer is no. She said no? Oh, woe is me. I gave you my heart, Natalie. Return to me, friend. At least you have not betrayed me yet. I am a tough man who says tough things in a growly voice. I can tame corrupted. You have a problem, Frank. You are so drunk you are speaking the gibberish. Please return to me, friend. I fear Frank is beyond help. <laughs> Oh, these 
pirate things are so wonderful. Jocko will love them almost as much as he loves to hear those hilarious jokes <laughs> and not being dead of thirst. I goddamn hate my hair. Money. Woo. <laughs> You're going now? We were just beginning to connect.
Sandbarges and zero casualties. I think the man is starting to unravel. They want to kill stuff. They want to split the loot and have their separate ways. They don't seem to get the fact that our whole operation isn't about greed or bloodlust. It's about survival. We stop robbing ships. We starve. We split up. We die. I won't let that happen. One of you guys before the guns, the power, it's all very striking. If you're looking for the treasure of the sands, you've come to the right chick. But god, oh, I'm being rude. I haven't even introduced myself. Do that a lot. Sorry. I'm um Captain Scott. Nice to meet ya. Right, I should probably get you up to speed on the legend of the dread. So, the legends say that whoever gets all four pieces of a mystical compass will find the lost treasure. I've got a piece, because I'm awesome, but Sandman has one too. Head to Hater's Folly, kill Sandman, and get his piece of the compass. Sound good? <laughs> oh, 
zombies, my kids. Mercer here. I just finished cooking up a badass meal of gasoline and shoe polish, but nobody can enjoy it with Shiv Spike around. Have you met Shiv Spike? He's our radio operator. You should go meet him. I will puke blood into your soul! Kind of an asshole, isn't he? And beyond that, he smells like a corpse somebody vomited up. I want to feed Shiv Spike to the sand grubs, but he stinks so bad they won't eat him. <laughs> Get some condiments. We gotta make Shivy look appetizing.
fruit. Good. Now. Oh, 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 for the love of... Sorry, Murray just shot himself in the leg. Hey, Murray, know what'll cheer you up? Some vitamin C. <laughs> Sandman ate my parents! Oh, suck it up, Murray. This is to the jackass who just arrived in Oasis. We don't take kindly to independent treasure hunters around here. We're Union Sand Pirates. Now, we're calling you out, Scab. Our Union versus you. Hell no, we won't go. Hell no, we won't go.
about Murray. He'll be fine. Until he finds out I'm just slather shift spike in those condiments. It'll be gross, but it your lungs will hold my future children! Great. Now just push him in and let the sand grubs do the rest. I am a sinking collection of hatred and You know, I think I'm gonna miss him. Anyway, good job. Come actually, you know what? I don't miss him at all. <laughs> Trying out some new catchphrases. Let me know if any of these grab you. Yar! A vast matey! Yo ho ho! Hoist the mainsail! Rock the plank! Shiver me timbers! Oh no, that one didn't work at all. job for you. I've heard tell some creature is sneaking around Hater's Folly, stealing treasure, slicing off faces and the like. Sounds terribly interesting. Hunt it down, would you? I'm sending you to kill Sandman rather than do it myself. First of all, good question. Glad to see you, you know, taking the initiative. Second of all, Sandman's pretty strong and you're expendable as hell, so good luck. This 
Get you one more time